it's time to glue up all of our pieces. Uh, we've cut all the legs, we've cut the mortises in the legs, we've cut the rails, the tenons, the grooves, the arc, uh, and it is time to put this all together into an end assembly. We've got one here okay, that's already glued up. This is the goal when we're done here um, with this particular uh, step. Okay, you can notice everything is now tightly held in place. All this has been glued. Okay. Um, I've made sure that I've oriented the rails correctly uh, in the assembly, making sure that this dado for the bottom shelf faces the same direction as the, the long rails are going to go. Um, so this is what we're going to work for. And I'm going to walk you through the best way I find to go ahead and do this. So my first step is to take my assembly and break it down uh, so that it is laid out in a manner where I can st start building the assembly up um, from one leg. When we put glue and we start gluing up, it's really important that we keep going. We only have so much time once we start to glue. So having yourself really organized to start with uh, is a good way to kind of stack the cards in your favor so that we don't run out of time and the glue starts setting up before uh, we're actually glued up. So to do this, we're gonna need glue. We're gonna need a mallet. We're gonna need a glue brush. And I also have just a little leftover piece of spacer material that I'm going to use later to help seat all my spacers to the bottom of their groove. And you'll see that here uh, coming up. I also have got two clamps okay, that we pulled out from the back to hold these, uh, this whole assembly together. So I pulled everything apart. Everything has been cleaned up, sanded, and ready to go. So I'm going to get started with gluing and you'll kind of see the process as we go. So I'm going to start with one leg, okay? and remember we're putting the short rails in, and the short rails are going to fit in these two long mortises. So I'm going to start by applying glue to these two mortises. We don't need a ton of glue. Okay? A thin bead of glue along one wall, and then we're going to take our glue brush, okay? and we're going to spread that glue around the inside of the mortise here. And I'm going to do the both mortises just so we have a thin layer of glue all the way along each edge or each wall as as well as each um, the bottom of each mortise. I'm going to take my short rails and I'm going to apply a thin bead of glue to each tenon. Okay, using the brush spread that around so you have it on both faces and then we're going to put these two together. Okay, make sure they seat all the way down and we'll repeat for the upper short rail. Now you notice we've got so many parts here, it's really beneficial to have this laid out uh, and set up prior to applying glue so that you just grab pieces and start sticking them all together like a giant puzzle. So we'll put glue there and we'll put that rail in. Now comes the tricky part. We need to get all these spindles and spacers inside the the grooves that we cut. So what I'm going to start with okay, is I'm going to start with a very light bead of glue on the inside of that groove. And I'm going to do the same thing up here, a light bead of glue. We don't need a ton of glue to hold these things in place. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to start taking my spacers, place them in to the groove, make sure they seat all the way down against the leg and all the way in. And I'm going to take a spindle that in there and then a little spacer and I'm gonna work this all the way up that little bit of glue that's on the inside here is more than enough to hold these spindles and spacers in place it doesn't take a ton of glue I didn't get any right there so a little bit more right there Okay, don't worry about the spacer sticking out quite right, quite yet. We're going to fix that later. So make sure everything is seated. Okay, I can see I've got this one is sticking up just a little bit. So I'm going to tap my spindles down. I'm going to take my little spacer block, that my extra. Give that a tap to make sure that this sits below the shoulder of the more or the tenon. 
So now those are all in, right? Last thing to do is cap it all off with the other leg. So I'm gonna take and put glue in the other two short rail mortises. Okay, again, a little bit of glue is more than enough. Doesn't take a ton. In fact, if you have a bunch of glue on here and you get a ton of squeeze out, you're gonna have a lot of sanding work to do later on. So smear that around each mortise. Okay, I want to apply to the tenon. I got quite a bit of glue on the end of this brush right now, so I'm just gonna spread that out on my tenons. this all off here. Again, make sure you're putting these legs on the right way. That dado for your bottom shelf needs to face the same direction as the mortises for your long rails. So, everything a tap to seat it, okay, so everything is nice and tight, and I'll be ready to go ahead and clamp. Now, to clamp, we are gonna clamp parallel with the two short rails. So I've got my clamps here, and we only need two. I've got them set, so one will run along the length of the upper short rail, and one will run along the length of the lower short rail. And I'm gonna bring these together, and I'm gonna snug this up. I'm not gonna over tighten anything right now. I just wanna put a little bit of pressure on the assembly. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the bar of the clamp, which is nice and straight, to make sure that the end panel or the frame is assembled flat. And I wanna make sure that the legs are sitting flat on the bar of the, um, flat on the bar of the clamp. So I'm gonna look down here. I'm gonna just look at the, where the leg and the bar meet and give these little taps. to make sure that they're sitting flat on those bars. And then I'll snug these up just a little bit more. Doesn't take a ton of pressure here, okay, but we definitely wanna make sure that these are flat when we glue them, because if they're not flat, then the, the rest of the table will not go together nice and square. So nice and flat. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and seat all of my little spindles and spacers. So I'm gonna take my little leftover spacer piece Give little taps in each corner to make sure that all those spacers are all the way at the bottom of my spindle groove. One more whack right there. All right. So there is a bit of squeeze out. I'm gonna leave that sit for probably 15, 20 minutes and let it skin over and then I'll come in and clean it all off with um, a chisel or some wet paper towels. The last thing to do is make sure that this frame is square. And the fastest way to do that is just to take a tape measure and measure from corner to corner. If the numbers going corner to corner are the same, we're pretty sure that we are square all the way around. So I'm measuring 27 and three quarters right there. We'll measure the other diagonal and that's exactly 27 and three quarters. If you cut your joinery nice and square, most of the time your parts are gonna go together nice and square and this shouldn't be any kind of problem. If they're not square, okay, let's, if this was longer, a longer diagonal, we would have to unclamp and kind of push things around until we got those diagonals to equal um, each other. So that's how you glue up an end panel. Um, we're going to repeat the, the process again to go ahead and get the other one glued up uh, and then we'll be ready to move on to cutting our long uh, rails, the upper and lower long rails. Peace out!